This morning, San Diegans are bracing for a big step back in the fight against coronavirus. We will find out in a matter of hours whether we will return to the most restrictive tier. Things aren't looking promising right now. News 8's Evan Narani is live at Liberty Station to tell us where our case rate is trending. Good morning, Evan. Good morning, Eric. That's right. So far, things are not looking good, judging by our case rate. Uh, about 450 new cases per day over the last week is what we've been looking at. And this all comes as we head toward the holidays. So the holiday shopping season supposed to be one of the most profitable for businesses, especially like here in Liberty Station. But they are now bracing for the possibility of moving into the purple tier. That announcement comes today at noon, whether or not we'll stay in the red tier that we're in right now or move into the purple tier. And that means if we do move into the purple tier, that any retail businesses that we see here, they'll have to reduce their uh, holiday shopping spree to 25% and they'll also restaurants and gyms have to close all indoor facilities. So this could be a big change as we head toward November through November and then into December and those businesses are now bracing themselves. Anticipate that we'll see uh, some counties moving backwards, not forwards, and this is exactly why we designed the tier status the way we did. Some of the businesses have already put up pop out tent, uh, pop up tents, um, and some already had some kind of existing covering already. They were just retrofitting it to make it waterproof. So like you heard there, most restaurants and gyms have made significant adjustments to follow pandemic guidelines like adding more outdoor space. But with rain and cooler temperatures, being outdoors can also hinder business. So the holiday season can be one of the most profitable times for those businesses. As we see the chance of moving toward restrictions this afternoon, a lot wane on the announcement from the public health department. But for now, those businesses are asking you to continue helping where you can. If you would normally sit at a restaurant, order takeout instead for retail stores, for example, ask about contactless pickup or delivery by ordering online. And we'll hear from the public health department today at noon about the latest case calculation. But so far, our COVID case numbers have not pointed us in the right direction. We have slowly seen our county case rate increase over the last uh, about week or so. And even with the increased amount of testing that we've been doing, which does give us a lower adjustment, it doesn't seem like it will be enough as last week's adjustment still brought us above seven. That was the seven threshold that we would need to move into the purple tier. If we see that number again today we will move into the purple tier the number that we're going for is 6.9 or lower uh, on that uh, scale on that adjusted calculation scale from the state so we'll have to wait and see again coming around noon today uh, for now we are here at liberty station where all those businesses are slowly starting to uh, see the impact and kind of see what they're going to be doing to adjust for the possibility of outdoor dining more or outdoor gyms and we of course will keep you updated as people start coming around here over the next couple hours hours.